The noise you just heard was the spark plug cracking and breaking. Why does it break? We're gonna talk about it in this video. This right here is a 5.4 liter Triton three valve engine in this F-150. Now Ford used these engines in many other vehicles, half and three quarter ton trucks, vans, and other SUVs. There are also other variants of this engine, two valve and the three valve, which is here. We're focusing on the three valve engines. For the two valve Triton engines, the spark plugs would blow right out of the cylinders. And for that, the threads would get damaged. You'd have to re-tap them, put this insert in, and then off you go. However, on the three valves, Ford updated that design and created this spark plug, which as you can see is a lot longer. And with this design, they wouldn't blow out anymore, but they would be so tight in there that when you go to remove your spark plug, uh-oh, that happens. So if you're working on one of these, more than likely at least one spark plug will break on you. But if they do, we sell this tool at oneauto.com, which is specifically designed to remove the broken piece of a 5.4 liter three valve Triton spark plug. So here we are at the source of the problem. This spark plug right here, which is cylinder number one, is broken inside the cylinder. I pulled the upper half out as I was doing the spark plugs on this engine. I actually had another one that broke, but I fixed that one already. And for this one, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So as I was unthreading this spark plug, I was excited because it didn't feel like anything wrong was happening, but as it turns out, I only pulled out the top half of the spark plug. This is what it should look like when the whole thing comes out. To repair this, the first thing I strongly recommend is getting yourself some compressed air, blowing out any extra debris that might be in there. Now, from the toolkit that you have, you'll see this threaded rod here, which is basically uh, an adapter that's threaded on both sides. At the bottom, it has the same threads as the spark plug that you pulled out, so it'll actually thread into the spark plug threads and lock in there. So let's slide it down into the cylinder, just like that. Let's get a socket, in this case it's a 19 millimeter, and thread it down. You wanna make sure that you oil up the threads a little bit and that the threads on the insert are clean. You don't wanna damage the threads in the head. And just thread it down until it bottoms out and gets snug. In your kit, you'll have this, which is basically a little plunger that goes down in there. Make sure you put it with the wider end towards the top. Slide it down in the center of that insert. And now once you have that in, you're gonna to wanna to put in the push rod, which will push that plunger down. So start it in by hand. I oiled these threads also. Thread it in until it bottoms out and I'll show you what this does. It's pretty cool actually, and uh, just as a warning, it'll make some very strange noises and scary noises to be honest, because it's actually breaking that ceramic and pushing it down. So here's the piece of the spark plug that I pulled out earlier, and this is what it originally should look like. It has the ground strap that's one solid unit at the bottom, but the plunger that we just put in is actually gonna go in the middle of this and push the ceramic down split the ground strap and make space at the top here so you can grab it and pull it up later. But the scary noises that you'll hear is not just this metal splitting, but also the ceramic cracking. You'll have some ceramic particles in there that will crack as you apply pressure. Now that that's bottomed out by hand, let's crank it down and, well, like I said, just be ready for those noises. Okay, here we go. Listen closely, you'll hear that ceramic start to crack under pressure and push that ground strap open, break it, so you'll most likely hear a louder snap as I turn this in. All right, so the first few crackles that you heard was the ceramic cracking and starting to break free from that sleeve and pushing down. That second pop that you heard, which was slightly quieter than I was expecting, but it was still there and noticeable, was that ground strap electrode breaking, splitting open, letting the ceramic push through. At this point, I'm gonna remove my tools because more than likely, I have enough room to put the next piece of the tool in there. Pull this insert out gently, and you can notice how much ceramic there is on the tip of this plunger here. This is exactly what you wanna see, this is nothing to be alarmed about. It did its job, it pushed that ceramic in through the sleeve, and even though there is ceramic dust here, don't worry about it. 
Even if it did get into the cylinder, like I said, this will just blow right out, but more than likely, it's just on the tip here. It did not make it all the way through. Let's move on to the last step. You have this tube right here, which is just an aluminum, a machined aluminum tube that will actually get this rod pushed through it. And the point of this is, as you can see on the end here, it has some very aggressive threads, almost like a tap, and it will bite into that sleeve as you thread it in. It's actually reverse thread, so make sure you keep that in mind, otherwise you'll be threading it in forever and it's not gonna do anything. So make sure you go backwards in order to have it grab onto that sleeve. As you thread it down, it'll lock that sleeve onto the threads, and then you use the nut at the top, which is also reverse thread, so again, keep that in mind, and then you pull this up, and it's almost like a puller, and it'll remove that sleeve from inside the engine. So let's give it a shot. This sleeve doesn't get pressed in or threaded in. It just drops in and sits there. It is only there to guide the rod that actually bites into that sleeve. Drop that rod in, put your socket on, and remember to go in reverse to actually thread it on. Try to push down on it. Sometimes if you do cylinders that are in the back, it'll be a little difficult to push down on it just because you don't have this open space for a long extension, but just do your best. The threads will grab regardless, but if you push down, it'll just help it seat in better. Reverse it, it'll get tighter and tighter. Don't go too far, you don't wanna damage the tool or the insert to the point where you can't save it anymore. Now you're gonna to wanna to thread this nut down until it bottoms out by hand. This will actually seat up against this sleeve. Now get the appropriate size socket for this nut. You're gonna to wanna to reverse the nut, which will pull the rod up and I'm gonna be quiet so that you can hear the noises that are happening in there. Most likely you'll hear it break free and start pulling up. That first pop was actually the metal breaking free, so that's a good noise. Now I'm just turning it and it feels very smooth. There is pressure on it, but it feels very smooth and it's actually getting easier to turn, which means that sleeve is pulling out and there's less pressure on the side of it. Once you think you've threaded this in enough and the rod has pulled the sleeve up enough, remove your tool and pull this up. And this is exactly what you wanna see. Now with all of your tools out of there, just make sure you blow out the cylinder one last time. Make sure there's no debris in there. Again, our ceramic did not crack, crumble, and get inside the cylinder, thankfully. But even if it does, like I mentioned before, it'll just blow out as the engine is running. And now, you're safe to install your new spark plug, which, by the way, you can get at oneauto.com. Now that we have our problem fixed, the new spark plug is installed and the truck is ready to go, let me explain to you why and how these break. So when Ford redesigned the spark plug from the two-valve spark plug, which looks like this, it's just a normal-looking spark plug, to the three-valve spark plug that looks like this, it's got this longer shank on the bottom below the threads. The seat of the spark plug is here, and this part sticks down into the cylinder. What happens is it gets built up with carbon here over time. These are platinum spark plugs. They're supposed to last a long time. So you don't just change them out every other oil change. So with these being in here for a long time, this is also two separate pieces. And with the carbon that basically locks this piece in, as you unthread it, it will break apart. And that's the only reason basically that they split is this cannot pop out of its location, the, the hole that's machined into the head, and you're just left with the top half. So now that you know why this happens, you know how to fix it, and you even know where to get the parts and tools to fix this issue. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you can stay up to date with all of our latest content.